Okay, it's 8.05, so let's go ahead and get started. The, um, the theme of balance has been coming up a lot for me. I'm not sure if you all are noticing it, but um, I have been a lot more productive from home, but in planning out my calendar, the first few weeks, I was planning my calendar packed from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and it's like, Jewel, when are you even scheduling time for yourself to eat? <laughs> like, this is not healthy. So how are you bringing more balance into your life? Speaking of the questions that I had to ask myself. And what that meant was taking a step back and knowing that even though I'm working from home and I don't have to leave to go and teach or to run errands and things like that, I still need to be mindful of my yoga practice. So now I start my day with movement, whatever that looks like for me, depending on how my joints are feeling that morning. Um, and then making sure that I have breakfast before I sit down at my computer, being mindful to take time for lunch. And even if that's just a brief pause, but not sitting at my computer and eating. And then paying attention to the weekends. I don't need to be working seven days a week, I can take a day off to rest for myself. And so as we move and meditate this morning, I invite you all to think about what have you been mindful enough to balance your life, both personal and professional since being at home? And if not, where are some areas that you can bring more balance into your life and whatever that could mean for you, whatever that looks like for you? So we'll get started as always with three deep breaths, beginning to ground yourself and center yourself in preparation for this practice, taking the time to come into your body, starting to let the to-do list for the morning and the week just float by. Let's take these next 20 minutes or so for yourself to invite in more clarity into your Monday and your week. I'm going to start with some movement, just dropping your right ear over to your right shoulder. Turn your chin up to point towards the left. Lift your chin up and over towards the left shoulder so you're gazing down at the floor. Rotate through your neck, taking left ear over to left shoulder. As you do so, your chin will point up towards the right. Lift your chin up and over the right shoulder, gazing down at the floor. Rotate out through your neck. Chin points up towards the left. Rotate, bringing your chin towards the left shoulder. And continue like that. We're creating an infinity sign with our chin. Rotating out through our neck. And just starting to notice. Does the right side feel any different than the left? Any tightness on one side more so than the other? Where can we bring more balance into our movement practice? I know for me, I sleep in the fetal position on my left side. And so I often have a lot of tightness on the left side of my body. And so I have to be more mindful of that to make sure that I give the left side a bit more nourishing to help balance it out with the right. So just notice any of your habits and how your body holds on to those habits as we move today. Come back to center. Take some big shoulder rolls backwards. And lift your right arm all the way up high towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, you'll draw that arm back behind you. Taking some really wide arm circles. Rotating out through the shoulder. 
Exhale to release the arm back behind you. And your next time the arm is up towards the ceiling, we'll reverse those circles, so drawing it down in front first. Your exhale will lift the palm and arm back behind you and reach. One more round in that direction. Release down. Left side, left arm reaches towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, take that arm back behind you. I'm just gonna slide forward a little bit so I'm not hitting my wall. And again here, notice, is there any difference between right and left sides? Do you feel any tightness in one shoulder joint more so than the other? Noticing without judgment, just being aware of the imbalances in our body. Next time that arm is lifted towards the ceiling, draw it down in front. We like to think that our bodies are fully symmetrical when in fact they are asymmetrical and there is, there's no real um, balance in our bodies, like one, arm is a bit longer than the other, one foot is a bit bigger or longer than the other, our face is asymmetrical, but we just invite imbalance, knowing that there's always going to be that imbalance, drawing both arms down, both palms resting on your lap. We'll take some seated cat cows to warm up our back. So as you inhale, drawing your head, neck, and chest forward, creating a little dip in your low back. And exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, round your shoulders, draw your belly in, creating a C curve with your spine. Inhale, lifting head, neck, and chest forward, stretching over your legs. As you exhale, round into that C curve. So seeing if you can move one vertebrae at a time flexing and extending fully through your spine each time you curl forward and pull yourself back. It's helping to work out any nooks and crannies in the back side of the body and also opening your chest as you stretch forward. If it feels good you can take your gaze all the way up to the ceiling adding in a neck stretch when you stretch forward. Continue to breathe into the movement. Take one more round here. Bring yourself all the way back to center. Drop your shoulders down and away from your ears. Bring all of your fingertips together, helping to align left and right side of your body, completing a full circle of energy. And you can rest your hands down closer towards your lap, but just making sure you feel the sensation of all 10 fingers pressing into each other. Start again by taking deep breaths, perhaps noticing if the breath is any different, maybe a bit deeper now that we've done some work to open up through your chest and your lungs and your diaphragm. If it feels okay for you, go ahead and rest your eyes and sit with that breath for a moment. Noticing the expansiveness of the rib cage with the inhale. Now everything draws down on the exhale.
Your next out breath, start to take your attention down towards whatever body part is touching the floor. It could be the soles of your feet. If you're sitting upright in a chair. Maybe it's the sides of your feet. If you're sitting seated cross legs. You start to notice any sensations you feel. Any energy drawing up from the earth and the floor. Resonating with your feet that are grounding you into this practice. Notice your toes and your heels. The full surface of your foot that helps you balance when you're standing upright. Notice your ankles, your lower legs, both your shins and your calves. Your kneecaps, maybe the backs of your knees, back of your thighs, those hamstring muscles and glutes pressing into the chair or whatever surface you're sitting on. Almost the tops of your thighs facing up towards the ceiling. And your hips. Bring your attention to the movement of your abdomen. As you move up through your torso, and your chest. Again, perhaps noticing your rib cage. The balance of breath. How the inhale naturally converts to your exhale. And that alignment, that yin and yang. Just the tops of your shoulders. Your upper arm. Your bicep and tricep muscles. The elbows hanging out in space. The forearms. Again, perhaps noticing all of the fingers coming together, lining right and left sides of your body. And the circle of energy be unbroken. Bring your awareness to your throat and the back of your neck. Up to your chin, your nose, your cheeks. Maybe feeling a warm sensation at the tops of the ears. Listing your eye sockets, the space between your eyebrows, your forehead. Resting for a moment just above the crown of your head. Start to imagine a bright white light. hovering above the crown of your head. Just 
With each exhale, that light expands, getting wider, larger. Representing clarity. With your exhales, invite some movement to that light. It starts to cascade down your body, reaching down towards your toes. Each exhale, it covers a bit more of you. Perhaps warming your skin as it flows down peacefully, calmly. The light reaches down through your body. Just notice the areas of your body that feel comfortable and relax. Notice what parts the light touches that feel tight and tense. Can you allow that light to invite in more soothing ease to those areas? As the light reaches down to your feet, it dissipate into the earth, taking with it anything that you don't need, any tension in your body, any fear, anxiety, worry, anything that's taking you out of balance with who you truly are. Loving, pure conscious awareness. Let anything that doesn't serve you go with that light. As it melts away, bring your attention back to your breath. Perhaps counting for three or four breaths in. As you exhale, reduce three or four breaths out. Start to deepen your breath. Drawing everything in and up on your inhale. Exhale, release fully out. Really deep inhales down through your belly. Exhale to release. Last full intentional breath. Slowly let it all go. Turn back to your normal breath. Start to reintroduce some movement to your practice, wiggling your fingers your toes. Maybe 
you circle out your ankles and your wrists, if you're seated in a way that you can. Eyes closed, generous neck rolls. Just a few here. Coming fully back into our bodies. Bring your head back to center. Big shoulder rolls backwards. When you're ready, gently blink your eyes open. Yes, please take any other movement that feels right, that feels good, stretch it out. My back is like, yes, thank you. You stretched a little bit, stretch some more. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, please continue to stretch when you get off the call for a little bit. Well, thank you again, ladies, for joining me this morning, starting your Monday with me. I hope you have thank a you. Weeks. I'll see you again next week.